here's the Tandy 1400 completed before I put the, uh, the lid and stuff back on it I'm going to show the inside of it and show the extra additions that I've done to it done, did, whatever okay, so there's the original power supply that I made for it I did have to re-solder some stuff on it but that should be working okay now I got the uh, L LCD cable running right there, that big black wire underneath the keyboard there over here I've got a, a 12 volt DC power supply with the with some uh, how you doing globs of solder on the, uh, the plug in there I've got that running to uh, the 12 volt DC in on the computer uh, that fixed the speaker problem actually so Alright, I'm going to put, put the lid back on it and uh, take a look at the LCD screen. Alright, there's the back of the computer. I've just got an AC cord running to the back, supplying power to the computer, to the LCD screen. Just want to show that real quick. Yes, the lid does close. I'll open it up here. Now, I don't have these the screws in in these brackets yet, so All right, now I'm gonna get a better shot of the screen. Hang on. All right, so all in all, it's not a bad looking machine. I'm gonna power it up. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have a. I gotta get the thumb drive. Hang on. Go tech must have food. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that again with the thumb drive. Power on. I'll get a closer shot of the screen. There's, it's not the, uh, you know, there's a little bit of interference in there. That's where I've, uh, I've soldered it onto the inside of the RCA connector that's on the back so there's no wires coming out of the case except for the power cord of course there's free DOS okay it's booting up and it's going to take a minute it's free DOS you know it's free The, you can see the tracks on the GoTech drive they're going there that light is just that's where uh, it says that the computer needs to be it's low battery light I could disconnect that but I kind of like it blinking oh wait a minute it's not ready yet there it goes okay so now I'm gonna I gotta get up change the camera angle but uh, I'm going to get a close up of the LCD screen. I've got little bits of, uh, of plastic, pieces of plastic, to, because the, the screen's not big enough. I couldn't find a screen that would fit. You know, so I used the one I had, which was, it cost like 30 bucks, on, you know, off eBay. So it's the one I was going to use in the Model 200, but uh, I want to to get this machine running and the, the extra benefit is against the the original LCD screen that came with this which is not nowhere as good as this one and if you've ever seen a 1400 you'll know what I'm talking about so I'm gonna zoom in on the screen alright there it is kinda close up I'll zoom out as I uh, mess with it here we get a directory and like I said when I 
hooked up the uh, the plus 12 volts DC it fixed the speaker and I think that will also fix the issue that I had when if the computer will go in standby mode when you hit the keyboard it wouldn't come out of standby mode so I think that'll fix that too I'm gonna load up a game here and see how it does paratrooper wow speaker sounds fantastic Zoom out a little bit. Looking good. And the the sides there, they don't look too bad. That one's a little off. But that is, I am happy with the way it turned out. It's not, you know, it's not perfect, but uh, I think it looks pretty good. DOS game. Yeah, I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that I used the, the screen on the uh, on the 1400 instead of the, the 200. Uh, I think it I think it turned out fantastic. So, I would consider this project done. So the Tandy 1400 with, uh, well you probably can't hear me because of the music. So a Tandy 1400 with uh, a GoTech drive emulator, a upgraded LCD screen and I guess the most important part is the uh, is the power supply so it's got a basically a brand new power supply in it so that's awesome you know all right That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. All right. Well, enough of this. Uh, on to the next project. <laughs> this, this is Scotty with Scotty Animation. I'll talk to you later. For more content, you can visit www.scottyanimation.com. There's a lot more stuff on there.